Hi everyone, welcome along to today's live video. It is very late, it's um, 20 past four. I'm just logging onto Facebook on my laptop. Today was the first day back at school for our kids. So they're back, primary one to three and nursery. And I picked them up and thought, it's fine. I'll pick them up, I'll get home. We'll be all sorted, we'll have a snack, then I'll do my live video from home. No, they wanted to go to the park. And do you know what? After the last year, I was like, fair enough, let's go to the park. Thinking we'd just go to the park for like 15, 20 minutes. Of course, we get there, all our friends are at the park, and the extraction process is just very involved. You know, it's a series of, let's go, five more minutes, come on, we're going, we're going. Eventually, I got them out. It just took um, a lot longer than I had anticipated. And then, hold on, just trying to get on to Facebook on my laptop. Sorry, folks. <sighs> but we're here. Hi, welcome along, everyone. Lovely to see you. I need to sort this. Um... Do you know what? I'm sitting on a cushion because <laughs> I'm not quite high enough. Right, here we go. Here we go. Perfecto. Hi, from upstate New York. It's lovely here. It's like there is not, I'm looking out the window, there isn't a cloud in the sky. It's, oh, actually, there's one tiny little, like, white fluffy one far off in the distance like a cloud from the start of the simpsons blue sky so sunny kids are delighted to be back mums are delighted that the kids are back dads are too no doubt anyway we're all here thank you so much for coming along lovely to see you hi 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 oh there's a little ringing in my lug i don't know what that noise is there's something there's something beeping or something in here Anyway, hi Bev, nice to see you, Barbara, Karen, Lula, oh, love my bracelet, thanks, Evie made me this, it's got mum written on here, it's a bit faded now, and then an E for Evie on here, so sweet, I have to take it off when I'm drawing though, so, so bumpy, so bumpy, right, oh, sorry, right, we're getting sorted, we're going to do a little bit of colouring today, um, I'm not quite all sorted out at home, but I brought home um, something a little bit new. I'll show you in a second. It's not what you think. Although, got back to the house this afternoon and there's a card from UPS saying there's a package waiting for me to collect. I miss them. Um, I need to collect it tomorrow. I'm hoping, I think it might be the US edition. If it is, pa-pow! We are doing a flip through, people. Ah, so excited. Now I know my UK publisher has a copy of the US book because they mentioned it in a conference call this morning and I was like, hold on a minute. How come, how come you've got a US copy? I don't have one yet. So I think it would be. Right, let's flip the camera and show you what we're going to be colouring in today. Now, did you get a wee... Da -da 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 -da! This little thing. Bev says, wonderful, the kids are back at school. I know, so good. Just gulping down tea, folks, sorry. Now, this is a little bit tipped, but it should be okay. So this came out this, I think it comes out this month. It's out in the UK, coming out in the US. It's just one of the another, one of the another, another little pocket edition. There's two new illustrations in this one. This little bear. Cute. And there's a boat, this sort of river boat. So I need to colour something because I need to take some photos of it. As you can see, well, we do like a little mini flip through. As you can see, it's just a smaller edition of the main Enchanted Forest book. We've removed any drawings that span the spine, and there's like little extractions on this side. Da -da, da -da. And I need to colour a wee little thing so I can take some photos of it to add to the website. I've added it to the website with just a little placeholder image today. And the links for ordering or buying are all in there. I mean, I don't know why I'm doing this. You've seen them all before. You know what the book is. These are the new ones. Right, what would we colour? Let me just find a nice page. See, I always like these guys. They always seem quite fun. What else is there? Um, 
the good old owl. Everybody loves that owl. The hot air balloon. Mm. So this book, the scale is smaller, which demands a different type of colouring. I would not attempt... Look, we moved that so that that deer wasn't on the spine. Because remember what a nightmare that was in the other book. Learned my lesson with that one. Where is the um, hot air balloon? Have I gone past it? You need to colour this different, is what I'm saying, to the way that you would colour it. Oh, actually, let's do this one. Oh, here we go. You need to colour this different. Oh my goodness, I think I've started that sentence about 15 times. Don't try and colour each individual piece. It's just too small. I mean, unless you've got a magnifying glass, and really, how enjoyable is that? I just colour over it, and I use those black lines, let them fade to the bottom, and they become the detail, and you layer the colour over the top. I wouldn't use pens. I find for this scale, especially for me, pens just leak through. I like a nice sharp pencil. So I've got my Stettler Ergo Softs. Let me just move them out of the way. Um, what else have I got for top tips? Pop it in your school bag, your briefcase, your carry-on. It's just a nice alternative, isn't it, to the, the main the full size book, but it is a different colouring experience is what I'm trying to say. So look, here's an example. I'm just gonna colour this entire leaf. Like I would not be done with trying to outline all that and what have you. I think it just demands larger areas of colour. And if you're using pencils like these, you will always be able to see through them to those black lines below. So yeah, just different, different. I think I'll do these, a just a variety of greens. Oh, Franca says, I can't wait to go traveling again. This is gonna be my travel book. That's the idea, pop it in your suitcase and your carry on in your purse, which is what we call a handbag in the UK. No. I really, really hope that that UPS parcel is the US edition. <sighs> Imagine it's not. I'll be so excited tomorrow. I might even, um, Oh no, I can't go tonight. Oh. I was just thinking I'll just wait and go later, but you're not really meant to take the kids into shops just now, but I'll wait till tomorrow. They'll be in school and nursery and I'll nip down and get it and head back to the studio. I'm sure, I'm sure it's got to be the US edition. I can't think of anything else of bought. <laughs> I can't think of any other purchases that would be delivered by UPS. It's not a very, um, it's not a common carrier. <laughs> Here in the UK. Right. Um, oh, my laptop. Oh, people asking. Oh. Jani says, you keep freezing. I think that's probably your Wi-Fi. If it keeps freezing, it's maybe because you just don't have a ban enough bandwidth to watch live. My top tip would be stop watching, come back later, watch the replay. I know it's not as exciting. It depends how much your tolerance is for that kind of stuttery buffering thing. I can't bear it. So, for anyone who's just joined us, sorry I'm late, kids were back at school, we went to the park after school and the extraction process just took forever. Also, there was this massive muddy puddle that they were playing in. Evie's school shoes are absolutely wrecked. Well, their boots. I was like, leave them at the back door. We're going to need to clean them before tomorrow. Um, and yeah, I just, I didn't get away in time. 
but I figured you would all understand. First day back, I couldn't really say, you know, mum's got to go home and do our live video, but we'll be better sorted out for the next few days. Now I'm colouring miniature Enchanted Forest and I'm using my Statler Ergo Softs. And I'm just going to do a few different shades of green leaf. Let's do one really dark forest green. And I'm just showing you how I colour the miniature dif editions differently to the full size books because the scale is so much smaller. And yeah, we could have done artwork that was more suited to this size of book. But my worry is if you do that, it just becomes a bit too simplistic and then you might as well be colouring any kind of colouring book. I think you want the details and the beautiful pictures and the elegance of a more refined and intricate drawing. So to do that, I have to keep the level of detail and just advise you to colour it like this and colour over bigger sections. Oh, that looks really nice. It's like a a grassy green over that mossy forest green. What colour will we do the flowers? Excuse me, sorry, I'm sniffling. Megan says, is that a hot air balloon in the big book? Yeah, it is, Megan. So all the images, apart from the little river boat that I showed you at the start and the bear, it's all just from the main book, Enchanted Forest. Which has been out for ages though, I was trying to think. Secret Garden came out in 2013. I think Enchanted Forest came out in 2015. Gosh. It was an odd few years, wasn't it? I didn't see that coming. Pink and orange, everyone's saying. Pink and orange. Oh, blue and yellow. I'll do the middles and then have a wee think. I don't know if you can hear me drinking. Gulping down my tea only. <laughs> now my, my video is frozen on this end. I'm assuming it hasn't because the, the captions are still coming through. Purple and lavender. Hmm. Do you know what? They actually look quite nice just in the white. Let me do these um leaves around here and it'll it'll all become a bit clearer, I think. Jennifer's in purple flowers in all caps, like a Bev email, like a Bev message even. Bev, e I had to email Bev about something this week and Bev, I hope you don't mind me saying to everyone, Bev emails in all caps. I was just like delighted. I knew, I thought she would. I had a slight inkling that it would be an all caps email when it came back. Yep, sure enough. <laughs> it was just brilliant. I laughed so much. <laughs> just an entire email of Bev shouting at me. <laughs> I love that Bev has found international stardom and camaraderie on the internet because our because because our, she's stuck in all caps. What? So funny! So funny! So because um, Yeshin, who usually takes the photos of my new books, is just maxed out just now, so busy, we only just managed to get him to do the photos for Worlds of Wonder. Um, I just, I started having to take quite a lot of the pictures myself, which I don't usually do, and I just use my phone, usually on the kitchen floor, with a bit of like, <laughs> with a bit of like, stuff out the garden but it's just so it's midwinter here still I mean it's nice and sunny but there's nothing growing in the garden yet so I'm debating whether or not I can't work out do you think florists are open just now 
I mean, I guess they must be, because people are still getting flowers delivered. I'll need to maybe go and just buy some flowers to do the photos. I did the photos for the calendar collection this year myself, and a general consensus were they were all right. Do you remember that? I did them on the kitchen floor. I mean, you can definitely tell they're not as good as the professional ones, but they're not. I don't think I've massively let myself down with them. So that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, photographing this book. What time are we at? Oh, now I don't know what time we started, so it's pretty pointless looking. Uh, I think we might do the flowers. Hmm. When we do them blue. Hmm. I just can't tell. I can't tell. Jenny says garden centres are open. Are they, Jenny? I didn't think they were. Pink. Melina says, any news on when the flip through will be? I was just saying earlier, I've had a card through the door from UPS to say that there's a parcel waiting for me to collect. I think it might be the US book. So if it is, we should be able to do the flip through a uh, Wednesday. I, I, I can't do it tomorrow because we have to give people 24 hours notice. Well, actually, no, I don't really, I suppose. I'll see. If it's, if it's the US book that's waiting to be collected, we should, we'll be able to do it this week, in the next two days, I would say. And I'm as relieved as you are because it's the most commonly asked question. We'll finally get it done and you can see what's coming. And if you haven't pre-ordered, you must. You must. I'm just putting off having to do these flowers because I can't work out what to do. I see all your suggestions. I wish we could do like a live poll. As in like a vote. Pale yellow to apricot. Hmm. Oh, somebody's saying, oh, we'll have you for the lecture and the flip through. Yep, got the lecture on Wednesday. Oh my days, I am so scared. Absolutely bricking it. I think, uh, I think it's the thought of speaking to business people. Entrepreneurship, I would never in a million years describe myself as an entrepreneur. How cringe were they? I can't even really work a spreadsheet. Like I was saying, I was on a walk. I was on a walk at the weekend with my friend who's an accountant, and I was saying I was speaking to her about it, and I says, I didn't realise until not that long ago that a spreadsheet, if you put negative number, if you put the numbers in brackets, it means negative. I never realised that. Like when we're doing um. <laughs> when we're sorting royalties and things, until the um, until your advance is paid off, you pop the number in brackets. And I'd, I'd seen it a few times and just been like, oh, I wonder what that is. Never occurred to me. Never even thought. I was like, why don't you just put a minus sign in front of it? Is it because it's like a little bit negative? As in like a negative connotation? She's like, oh my days. I just, I just never knew. Never knew. These are sort of a corn flowery, daisy-like things. Anyway, in my lecture, I was going through it this morning. Here's how it works. It's basically, it's 40 minutes. I know the whole event is listed for an hour and a half. It's just, I, I've only got 40 minute. Don't worry, I'm not gonna speak for an hour and a half. And I speak about my journey since art school. And I've got like some pictures of all the stuff that I did at art school. And then some of my freelance illustration work, some of the self-initiated projects I did. So I speak about how I got commissioned by Starbucks, which is a bit of a funny story. Some people would remember that from ages ago. I basically hounded Starbucks until they commissioned me. Um, and there's a, some like sneak peeks at some of my old studios. So when I work from a little desk in my one bedroom flat and then from the spare room in my next flat, and then speak about, yeah, the colouring books, 
the trials and tribulations of the last few years. So I know I'm quite a positive person and I don't really ever speak about uh, like the stuff that's gone wrong on here because bad stuff happens to everyone. And I just think, well, you've just got to go on with it. But in business, uh, it definitely happens quite a lot. And I think, uh, yeah, just revealing some of the, the mistakes that I've made and the lessons that I've learned, which have been loads, by the way. Right, how are we doing? Anyway, if you're joining me and you've got your ticket, I'll, uh, you'll see it then, the whole talk. And it's free, so if you if you want to come, if you want to watch it, it's all online on Wednesday. Scroll back my page and you'll see the link. I think we'll just do the entirety of this top part of the balloon. Actually, I might. Leave, I think that looks really nice with it in white. I'm gonna do this wee bit here. I'm gonna do it blue as well, actually, and then that'll be all that I'm gonna do. When I'm doing pictures for well, photographs of the new books. I like the pictures not to be finished. I think it's really nice to show work in progress because then people immediately know it's a colouring book and not a fully illustrated coloured book. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think it's good to show it, yeah, just to show the work in progress. It's a workbook, a creative project as opposed to a finished, accomplished thing. I think we'll just do that in there. I'm just gonna refresh this Facebook page. Barb says like she got her ticket this morning. Hoorah. Right. We're back. That's all I'm gonna do for now, folks. Oh, I really need to blow my nose. Hold on, sorry. I can't bear the sound of somebody sniffing, so I don't really want to do it to you. Let me zoom out a wee bit. Oh, that's just zooming in. There you go. Now, because it's finally not dark at this time of day, Remember when we first started doing the lives after... I have to sit on my knees, I'm so low down. Remember when we first started doing the lives again after Christmas lockdown? It was so dark. Can you see that? Right, thanks ever so much, everyone. Where do you watch it? Facebook? No, Jenny. The lecture isn't on here. It's um, you need to go and order a smoke alarm. You need to go and uh, purchase a ticket, and it's on Zoom. But if you you don't purchase a ticket, you just get your ticket because it's all free. Um, and then you can watch it online live. The details are all somewhere on my feed. I'll pop them in a comment after. Right, hold on a minute. I've not drunk nearly enough tea today. <laughs> Melina says, we may crowd out the students. I'll be honest, that was my plan. I was kind of hoping that would happen. I would be far less intimidated. Also, it's um, open to the public. And I think there's like, I was looking at some of the people that were going. I think there's like some proper business people and like really high up academics at the university. So my plan was to just try and flood the audience where they like my people, us, you. Um, and then it would be a lot more, well, a lot less intimidating. Thank goodness that's via Zoom. Do you know what, they've asked me to do this for a few years and every time I've said no, and then this year they were like, yeah, it's probably gonna have to all be online via Zoom. I'm like, yep, this is the year that I will do it then. So much less intimidating. Right, okay, last, 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 last question. Before I go, actually, um, <laughs> hola. Um, before I go, did you see the picture that I posted this morning? So during lockdown last year, Evie, when I was working up here making Worlds of Wonder, Evie used to give me suggestions of things that she wanted me to draw and she would just be sitting pretending to do like her number work or her English, whatever, like the, the home learning was disastrous in our house. And she would go, I'll just give you ideas for the new book instead, um, instead of doing my work. And she'd be like, could you draw like a flamingo? but he's holding like a coat hanger with a dress on it. And like some of the ideas were amazing and some of them were like, hmm, we'll put that on the plan B list. And then she just took to drawing them out for me, like obviously frustrated that I wasn't um, 
envisaging envisaging or realizing her um our creative direction and artistic thoughts so she would just leave drawings on my desk with like commands saying draw this this is an idea this would be a good page and the one that um i said i posted a picture of today was she drew a wee house with a big bunch of balloons and it was tied to the chimney and the house was floating away into the clouds and i think we'd watched the film up the movie um, so that was definitely inspired by that but it was just so sweet and I think at that point it was like in the deepest darkest depths of social social isolation and Covid I was like oh, do you know what I'd love to just attach a big bunch of balloons to our house and float away so that drawing made it into the book and I redrew it obviously in my style but she's like yeah that that's all right yeah good I like the way you've done that you didn't do any flowers down the door, you did You did leaves. I was like, well, I just kind of took your artistic direction and ran with it. So that was her one note, but she's really excited to see how you colour it. So excited. And she will be taking credit for each and every single one of those pictures that gets uploaded or shared online. Every time she's like, that's my picture. Like, well, Bev coloured it in. Kelly's coloured it in. She's like, no, it's fine. Right, okay, thanks everyone for watching. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'll be here or back in the studio, but I will be on time because I don't have to do school pick up tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'll be here. Okay, let's keep our fingers crossed that that UPS package is the US edition. Please, please. Okay, thank you so much everyone. Have a good evening. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye-bye.